Hello friends and welcome to our virtual music class. Go ahead and take out your Rhythms of Thanksgiving worksheet. This week we are going to be taking Thanksgiving words and figuring out what rhythm they would be. You should have this worksheet out in front of you. First and foremost, please make sure your name is on the top of the paper. Now let's take a look at our rhythms here. We have ta's and we have tt's. Now, ta's are longer than tt's, so we are going to call ta's long. So when we have two ta's in a row, we are going to say that they are long, long. And when we have t t t t like this, they are short, short. So let's listen to the rhythms here. Ta, ta, long, long, but our tts are short. T, 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 short, 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 short. Now let's take a look at it, some rhythms that combine these two things. If we scroll down here, we can see tts and ta's together. When we have a ta first, it's going to be long, short, short, ta, t, t, long, short, short. And here we have t, t, ta, or short, short, long. So ta, t, t, long, short, short, t, t, ta, short, short, long. Now keeping this in mind, we can now look at the syllables of different words to figure out what rhythm they can be. Our first one here, pumpkin, Pie. Let's clap it together. Here we go. Pumpkin pie. When we hear pumpkin pie, I hear three syllables. So let's look for a rhythm that has three syllables. There's two options. We have ta, t, t, or t, t, ta. Pumpkin pie. T, t, ta sounds like pumpkin pie. So let's go ahead and write pumpkin pie using small letters. And your handwriting will be so much better than mine because you will be using a pencil on paper, which writes better than a computer. Pumpkin pie. Once you write that in, then you can come up here to the top and cross it off the list. That way that you know that you've already completed it. Let's look at another rhythm here. Turkey. Hmm. To me, I hear two syllables. Let's clap it together. Turkey. Two sounds. Are they short or are they long sounds? Let's listen again. Turkey. I hear two long sounds. Ta, ta, turkey. Go ahead and write turkey under ta, ta. Hmm, let's skip ahead. Let's do this one. Bread and butter. Let's clap that rhythm together. Here we go. Bread and butter. Now all of those syllables sound the same to me. Let's listen again. Bread and butter. And to me, I hear, well actually let's go through each of the rhythms. Let's see if it fits. Bread and butter. There's not enough notes there to fit our rhythm. Bread and butter. Oh, not enough notes. Bread and but not enough notes, but up here we have bread and butter. Short, 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 short. T, 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 T. Go ahead and cross off bread and butter and write it on the space right there. On your own, please complete the rest of the worksheet, sounding out the rhythms, clapping them, and determining, or sounding out the words, clapping them, and determining what rhythm they sound like. And now it is time for our Composer of the Month. Let's see who we have today. November's Composer of the Month is Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Mozart was born to Leopold in 1756 in what is now Salzburg, Austria. His father, Leopold Mozart, was a choir master, a minor composer, and an experienced teacher. At age four, Mozart began keyboard lessons, and by age five, he was composing short pieces. 
At the age of eight, Wolfgang published his first two sonatas for the harpsichord, and by the age of 13, he had composed his first opera at the request of an emperor. One of his most famous pieces is called Ina Kleine Nachtmusica, which is German for a little night music. On December 5, 1791, Mozart died at 35 years of age, leaving behind a collection of more than 600 compositions. Some of these pieces are considered to be the finest works in the classical style. All right, friends, as Mozart is our composer of the month, I brought in a very special story for you today, The Magic Flute. Mozart wrote a very special opera called The Magic Flute, and our story here today walks us through the story of this um, opera. As we listen, if you listen carefully in the background, you will hear some of the music from the magic flute itself. Magic flute. Here we go. Once upon a time, on a day that seemed like any other, Prince Tamino was out hunting in the forest. It was such a lovely day that he didn't hear a strange sound behind him, a sound that grew louder and louder. Suddenly, snap, sizzle, roar, a huge dragon crashed through the trees, its flaming mouth wide open. Help! Help! Tamino shouted as he ran through the forest as fast as he could. The roaring monster just a few steps behind him. I can't run any farther, he exclaimed, collapsing to the ground, unconscious. Just then, three gleaming silver arrows streaked through the air and struck the dragon. With a thundering crash, the dragon fell dead. From out of the shadows stepped three lovely young ladies, bows in hand. They approached Tamino. Who can he be? They asked each other. Surely he is a prince. We must tell the queen of the night. And they went away. Prince Tamino awoke to find the dragon dead at his feet. Who killed this terrible monster and saved my life? Tamino gasped in surprise. I did, boasted the lovely looking fellow covered in feathers. Who are you? asked Tamino. I'm Papageno, the bird catcher, the man replied. If it weren't for me, you'd be dead. How'd you do it? Tamino asked. When you're as brave as I am, it's easy, answered Papageno. Kaboom! With a sudden clap of thunder, the queen of the night appeared before them. Nonsense, she snapped, her hands and eyes flashing angrily. My lady slew that dragon. Then the queen softened her voice and smiled sadly at Tamino. Please, forgive my anger. Take pity on a poor, heartbroken mother. The evil sorcerer, Sorestro, has stolen my daughter. I do not have the power to rescue her. The queen showed Tamino a portrait of Tamino. The instant Tamino saw Tamino's warm and gentle smile, he fell in love. I will find her, he vowed. If you bring her back to me, you may have her hand in marriage, said the queen. Kaboom! And with another clap of thunder, the queen of the night disappeared. As Tamino prepared to take on his quest, the three ladies approached. Poor Tamino, could the first lady. The forest is so dangerous. We must help him, said the second. Tamino, called the third, here's a gift to protect you on your journey. A magic flute. When you play it, you will charm both man and beast. And you, Papageno, scolded one of the ladies. As punishment for claiming that you killed the dragon, you must go with Tamino through the dark forest to Sorestro's Temple of Light. So the two men set off into the dark dreary forest. Where are we? shivered Papageno. We've been walking for hours. I think we're lost, admitted Tamino. But we must be brave. Maybe some music will lift our spirits. With that, he took out his magic flute and began to play a tune. 
the ladies had been right, for as the beautiful music drifted through the forest, animals of all kinds crept softly out of their hiding places. Follow us, they said. We will lead you to Serestro's Temple of Light. There it is, Tamino marveled when he saw the magnificent temple. Impressive, Papageno standard with fright. Y y you go on ahead, Tamino. I'll just look around. Tamino pounded on the door. Serestro, evil villain, answer me. You stole Tamino from the king of the night, queen of the night, and I have come to rescue her. A priest opened the door and said, You are mistaken, young man. Serestro is honest and noble. He is protecting P Pamina. Her true destiny is to inherit Serestro's kingdom of light. The queen is evil. She wants to destroy everything that is good, even her own daughter. Serestro is protecting the princess? The queen wants to harm Pamina? How can this be? Tamina wondered out loud. Then he remembered the queen's cruel, cold eyes. He realized that the priest was telling the truth. He shook his head sadly. I think I've made a terrible mistake, Tamino said to Papageno. But his friend was nowhere to be found. Tamino began to play his flute. Lucky Papageno! He had found Pamina. What a funny man you are, she said, laughing with delight. Who are you? I'm Papageno, Prince Tamino, and I have come to rescue you. It was a most dangerous journey, but nothing frightens me. And they heard the sound of Tamino's music. His flute, can you hear it? Follow me, he said. The moment Pamina saw the prince, she fell in love. But before either of them could say a word, a gong sounded from somewhere deep within the temple, and the wise and powerful Serestro greeted them. Right away, he saw how much the prince and princess loved each other. Pamina, I will give you my blessing to marry Tamino, he said, his eyes twinkling, but only if he can pass three tests, one of silence, one of patience, and one of courage. When Papageno heard that, he jumped up. What about me? I want a wife, too. Very well, said Serestro with a laugh. If you pass the three tests, you will find love as well. A little Papageno. And this is where we'll stop today. Next week, we'll be able to hear the rest of the story. Before we go, let's go over what you should be completing this week. You should complete this worksheet, Rhythms of Thanksgiving, going through each Thanksgiving word and figuring out which rhythm fits it best. We did pumpkin pie, turkey, and bread and butter together. The rest are up to you. Make sure you turn it into your homeroom teacher, and I'll see you next week. Thank you.